giant salamander. <laughs> Recently, the Chinese media published an intriguing photograph of a giant salamander, which truly gives a good idea of how big they are. How big? This big. I don't know exactly how big that big is. Oh, man, look at that. That's pretty, can reach a length of five feet, 11 inches. I think that's pretty big. Looks pretty big. Some reports of the giant salamanders of Japan and China have been recorded to be five to six feet. Oh, well, there we go. That's a big salamander. The Japanese giant salamander, Andreas Japon Ikas. Hmm. I think that was pretty close. For example, reaches about four feet nine inches, feeds on fish and crustaceans, and has been known to live for more than fifty years in captivity. What is that real? 50-year-old salamander? This isn't a cryptid. This is actually the Chinese giant salamander, Andreas David Dianus, can reach a length of 5 feet 11 inches, perhaps even bigger. The American hellbenders and Asian giant salamanders all belong to the family Crypto Branch Idea. Tom Slick <laughs> searched for cryptid giant salamanders in the Trinity Alps of California. My biography of Slick documents his quest for the abominable snowman, Loch Ness monsters, Sumatran rhinos, Bigfoot, an orange pendek, and yes, the darker, maybe black Trinity Alps giant salamanders. True Life Encounters in Cryptozoology, Fresno, Linden Press, 2002, one of Slick's favorite quests was for those giant salamanders because he was able to bring along his sons and feed them to the giant salamander. I'm kidding. Asian folk tales talk of giant salamanders so big they attacked boats and humans in them. Uh, Daya Kujia's These pictures are really giant salamander. Really high def. I, <laughs> that's all Let's they get another say. quick that shot of the giant so salamander. Bad. Can you zoom in on... Oh. That was sad. I, we're gonna, I didn't hear anything about flames either. I'm a little disappointed. This is still under some cryptids fandom. Desert salamander. That's a bit better. Okay. I think that's what we're looking for. The salamander, easily capable of survival amid the brimstone, spits flames at its foes. There you go. This is the salamander we were looking for. This is the lore. The fire burns at 3,000 degrees, hot enough to melt steel. What? Oh, I like it. Acquisition. We have none. Desert salamander. Fire spirit. Additional info. That's it, folks. That's all we got. Okay, they spit. We know the temperature of the flames they spit, but that's all we know. So somebody had one of those laser temp guns just ready when they saw one of those salamanders, but they didn't have their camera. And they were like, Boop. oh, it's 3,000 degrees Celsius or whatever it said. The Crypto Branch Idea are a family of fully aquatic salamanders commonly known as the giant salamanders. They include largest living amphibians. The family is native to China, Japan, and eastern United States. They consist of one of two living families within the Crypto Branch O Idea. Crypto Branch Idea. I believe it's the... Sure. One of the main divisions of living salamanders and the other being the Asiatic salamanders belonging to the family. Too many big words, not enough cool fire. <laughs> this is all real science. Though. This is talking about Asiatic salamanders and American salamanders, know, actual uh, salamanders. We're fire. talking about the fire spitting crypto no, salamanders. No, we're not going into deviant art. We're looking... I mean, come on, man. There's really... Not a lot of information on the giant for more. fire spitting salamanders. Mythical Creatures Guide? Ooh, that Ooh, looks promising. Hey, that looks good. Okay. Animal. A salamander is both mythical and real creature. The name salamanders oh. derive from the Greek term loosely meaning fire lizard. Oh, now this nice. is what we're talking about. The real animals being an amphibian and a mythical, a fire dwelling lizard. Due to the nature of this site, let's focus on the mythical, shall we? Salamanders have been said to be able to both create and put out flames and in some cases are fire themselves. However, in some stories, they are merely fire resistant. In fairy legend, salamanders are credited with having taught the first humans how to make fire. However, there have also been versions of their origin saying they are composed by glass blowers who kept their furnaces stoked for several days and nights. Blowing salamanders, I had to say it, they're often described as small lizards but have also been known to be depicted as small glowing lights and on rare occasion 
traditional fairy-like humanoid beings. The most likely base for their legend is the real-life salamanders who are, moan, who are known to sleep and hibernate amongst logs that they were picked up and used to fuel fires. As oh. a result of being oh, tossed no. into a roaring inferno, they would wake up and scamper out of the fire. To the unknowing camper, they would seemingly appear from the flames, are known for their abnormally cool exterior, and are able to withstand a short stint in your fireplace. Nice. So go ahead, collect a bunch of salamanders and throw them in a fire. Don't Chuck do that. I don't, I don't recommend that. That was a bad joke. We like the fire yeah, don't salamander. Don't do that. The salamanders f- are awesome. Fire salamander is using the fire for good and for fighting, for defending the forest and you, apparently. And I feel... Like I am Great. burning in hell. I feel fantastic. I feel the yeah, the red and the yellow of Metazoo right now to me are just a fire that I need to figure a way out of. You're and, like a salamander. Hmm. And next week you're gonna be playing as the salamander, so maybe this is perfect.